Hey everybody, it's Chad with Nobody Else's Auto. We are at Pioneer Village in Minden, Nebraska today at a collection that was put together by a man by the name of Harold Warp, starting back in the 50s. Awesome car collection. They've got everything here. The purpose of this museum is the history of man in chronological order as things were developed and invented. They've got everything from toasters to Model Ts here and everything in between. So it's a great collection. The car collection here is outstanding. And the beauty of their car collection is their original cars that were gathered up over the years, put in this museum and preserved in their state. Along with that, they have accessories, memorabilia, things like that to go with them, and everything else in this collection from kitchen appliances to musical instruments. So awesome museum. We're obviously focusing on the cars because that's what we're here for, that's what we like. So we're gonna show you some more of those. They've got display set up here. They've got an engine disassembly to show you all the different pieces of the engine. They've got accessories in this case, even a, even a Southwind heater, which a lot of people don't realize on a Southwind heater, they actually were an underdash accessory heater that used gasoline fed off of your car. So they were literally burning gas in that heater to help heat your car with. So probably not the safest. I doubt it would pass many OSHA regulations today, but hey, back in the day it worked. They used them very popular. I see a lot of them. So in the day they were a very popular accessory, but probably not something you'd want to use today. Something else they've got a really cool display up here, parking meters, a ton of different parking meters. The styling on some of these, they were, you know, some of the Art Deco styling, some of them were small, some of them were big. They all did the same job, but a cool collection of various ones over the years. There are again, so many different things to check out here that not necessarily all car related, but even some of it is still car related. Even this old pull behind camper, you know, on display, opened up, set up inside just as it would have been back in the day. And like a lot of these pieces in here, they have, you know, copies of an ad or some information to go along with them. So we'll come around the camper and we're going to get into some AMCs and a few more Mopars. Starting off with a purple Gremlin. You know, Gremlins are neat little cars. Back in the day, they were scoffed at. A lot of people didn't like them. They were, you know, neglected, abused, thrown away. But they're cool today, and they're hard to find. So, and it's purple. It's kind of a different color, even. You know, AMC Javelin, another great car here that we've very seldom seen, the AMC Marlin. These were a really sporty car made back in about 65, 66. We can't really see it from here. We can kind of get a little bit of a glimpse of it. Very cool fastback design. Big sloping rear window, big, huge rear quarter windows with the curb in it. Marlins were a really neat car that were really ahead of the of their time and really never got their due. They never really took off the way they should have. We've got Dodges over here on this side of us as we walk through here. Like we've talked about in these other videos, there are so many cars here. There's just no way to cover them. I know there's a ton of cool stuff behind me. We just can't stop and talk about all of them. I could do videos here for weeks and we couldn't cover all this stuff. You know, another old Dodge. This one here we've got to check out though. This thing is so cool. 1955 Nash Rambler Custom Station Wagon, two-tone red and white luggage rack. Awesome car, super neat little design and just a great looking car. Something we never see today. Interesting, and there again, interesting little tidbits, little signs they've got around here. In 1950, the United States produced two thirds of the world's cars. As things started changing in the 50s, we started seeing the mergers of Nash and Hudson, which turned into American Motors. You know, Studebaker and Packard merged, and Nash and, Hud Nash and Hudson formed AMC, the American Motors Corporation, along with Willys and some of those other companies. You know, so we've got a lot of these Nashes and Hudsons and things over here. We've got more Dodges over here. Just so much stuff. It's so hard to take it all in. You know, a really cool Dodge convertible here, an old Wayfarer, like a 49 more Nashes over here, getting into some of the bathtub design stuff of the early 50s. These cars had great hood ornaments on them. The Flying Goddesses, which were super cool. More Dodges, we're getting into some earlier Dodges over here, back in, into the 20s on some of this stuff again. You know, this one, we've got the, they've got the hood open on. We can see the old flathead four cylinder. And uh, look at the fan belt on that thing. Look how thick the fan belt was on those cars back in the day. So really cool stuff. More early Dodges over here. It's clear back into the 20s. Some of the stuff we saw in some of the earlier buildings are in here. In line with some of their newer cars as they kept things in chronological order. More Nashes over here. 
some of the bath stuff, bathtub stuff and then getting back into the 40s into the pre-bathtub mash style. Once again, some of these cars have Fulton visors on them, things like that. An interesting tidbit on these two bathtub Nashes here with these Fultons is back in the late 40s, early 50s, you've got to remember most cars still had a split windshield. Most Fulton visors were set up for a split windshield. So these were not set up for one piece windshields because most cars didn't have them at that point. These did. If we look in the center, and then what's really interesting on both of these Nashes with Fultons on them is they've got a center bracket, but they're different. One of them, they've got mounted just below the windshield. The other one, they've got mounted out in front of the air intake. So kind of a cool piece. This particular Nash here, just like I said on a lot of these cars, they're parked in here in as found condition. This one with some scuffs and scratches in it, just the way it was found, as well as its original Pioneer Village bumper sticker. So kind of a neat tidbit, but just so much great stuff here. Like I said, getting back into the 40s Nash stuff and then backing up into the 20s again to a 28 Nash. Um, and once again, just like some of these other 40s Nashes, there's chips, things, scratches in them. That's how they were found. And that's how they exist today, which is pretty cool because finding these cars intact that have been preserved in as found condition is so difficult anymore. We don't see that type of stuff and it's so awesome to see it. So anyway, that's what we've got for you now. Tons of more stuff to see here. <laughs> We're gonna keep shooting some more video. We're gonna keep feeding these to you over the next several weeks. I hope you're enjoying them. I love this place, so much cool stuff. I don't know where else in the country you can see this amount of cars in this condition of, unre of original unrestored stuff. So it's a must see, you've got to check it out. Don't miss it. If you're anywhere remotely close, you've got to check out Pioneer Village in Menden, Nebraska. Great collection. As always, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, guys. I super appreciate you stopping by, spending some time out of your day with me to talk about, talk about old cars and check out cool old cars. If you're on Facebook, please like the page, share it with your friends, have them come over, hang out with us. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos. It's all cool old gearhead stuff. That's all I know, so that's all I can talk about is old car stuff. So having a great time doing them. Can't thank you guys enough for stopping by and hanging out with me. I super appreciate it. And if you've got any other questions, you can always give me a call. Great collection here in Minden, Nebraska, Pioneer Village. Check out the other videos. There's no way to comprehend this whole thing unless you actually physically come here and check it out. They've got a motel on the site, so you can stay at their hotel. And, uh, and you can even get a free admission to the museum with the hotel. So check it out. You've got to see it. If you like cars, you've got to be here and check it out. So thanks for being here. Stay tuned. More cool stuff coming from here. More cool stuff coming from the yard. More cool memorabilia coming. So hang in there with us. We'll see you on the next episode.